Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Brave Browser version 1.83 has been released late yesterday in my region. And to double check we have the latest version upgrade, we head to the main menu as always, click on help, click on about Brave. And first of all, you will notice that I haven't received the update. I'm still on version 1.82 with Chromium 140. And this is the first time I haven't received the update with the initial rollout. And it seems that version 1.83 with Chromium 141 is on a controlled rollout. But nonetheless, just to keep you guys posted like we like to do on the channel because the release notes are available. So just a quick overview as to what's new in version 1.83 with point release 0 0.108. And the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on, would be bumped up to 141.0.7390.55. So just keeping you guys posted. Now, first of all, looking at the security fixes that have rolled out for the Chromium platform. We get 21 security fixes this week, so this will also be the weekly security fixes. And most of the security fixes are addressing medium and a couple of low vulnerabilities, but there are two high severities, and they are both heap buffer overflow vulnerabilities. One is in the web GPU and one is in video, so 21 vulnerabilities have been patched. Now focusing on what's new in the actual browser itself. First of all, Web3, that's the cryptocurrency side of things, the wallet. There's an add-on, there are three updates and two fixes. So if you are using the cryptocurrency side of things, quite a bit taking place under the hood, as always, with these browser updates for Brave. And then Brave Leo, which is the AI chatbot, I'm just going to mention these quickly because obviously I haven't received the update yet. First of all, Brave has added memory management for adding memories in the AI chatbot during conversations. Secondly, Brave has added support for drag and drop for Brave Leo image attachments. They've added support for pasting images into Brave Leo. There's support for uploading PDFs as an attachment into Brave Leo. Brave has moved the model selector to input box. They've resized the Brave Leo slash tools icon, which is this little Leo tools in the chat box. And Brave has updated the chatbot to allow a context menu in the sidebar. So quite a lot going on with the AR chatbot. And then looking at general improvements and features, first of all, we get two security fixes that are taking place for the Brave browser itself. And Brave has increased the number of new tab page background images a user can upload, if you're using your own images, from 24 to 48 images, which I think is a nice move. Brave also says that it's updated the new tab page design, which has been rolled out in phases. So that could also be why I haven't received the update yet. And only 15% of Brave users, according to the change log, have received the update at the initial get-go. Now, more specifically, the updates to the new tab page will include a new center layout, updated top sites widget, update stats widget, update brave news widget, cards widget with VPM rewards and talk, centered and fixed search widget, updated clock widget, and customized settings panel. So the customized settings panel will also be updated. So quite a lot going on with that new tab page. So if you have received the update, go check that out. Just to mention the next, Brave says it's updated the navigation bar styling for settings, history, bookmarks, and downloads. Brave has updated the split view to show this three-dotted menu, which is currently at the top because I haven't received the update yet. This three-dotted menu is now going to be at the bottom of each split view tab. And there are two changes for private browsing 
with the Tor. In the Tor window, first of all, Brave says it's disabled WebRTC in Tor windows. And Brave says it's fixed the Tor windows being mentioned in private windows when Tor is disabled via admin policy. And then Brave has also removed the seven day lifetime capping for JavaScript cookies. And then we get one, two, three, four fixes for the browser. I'm just going to mention two out of the three for the actual browser itself. Brave says that it's fixed a misaligned search icon on the private browsing window and in the private browsing window. And Brave says it's also fixed the active tab colors not changing according to the theme so that's a bit of a ui interface tweak and adjustment so unfortunately guys as mentioned i haven't received the update yet not for want of trying but it does seem that this has been rolled out in phases so let me know if you've received it yet or not in your region i just want to kind of estimate how wide the rollout is at the at the initial get-go so that's more or less what's new in brave version 1.83 with chromium 141 if you are using the browser. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.